Leaving New Biggin, we drive up the east coast to Craster, a small fishing village. Here we park up for the 1.3 mile coastal walk across farmland to the castle. And what a dramatic sight it is in the distance. Good morning. You can see it right in front of me. It's absolutely awesome. Dunstan Borough Castle was built in 1313, so some 700 years ago, by Thomas, the second Earl of Lancaster. But just nine years later, the Earl was executed, so didn't get long to enjoy his epic pile. And it was one of the largest castles in England. It is truly spectacular. Yeah. Apparently there are more castles in Northumbria than any other county in England. Yeah. That is incredible. Not only the scenery, the castles, but the people too. How friendly are the people? Yeah, I've had loads of chats with people I've seen. I've been out twice early morning photographing. And it's been gorgeous, a spectacular sunrise yesterday morning, as you may have seen. <laughs> oh, but look at that. That cow's following you. In the late 14th century, John of Gaunt further expanded the castle. Then, after the War of the Roses between the Lancastrians and the Yorkists, it fell into a state of ruin. Mostly the castle became a bastion of defense against invading Scots as the border between England and Scotland is only 30 miles away. So, various battles over the ages took its toll. What, do you want to go in first or should we do the views first? As National Trust members, entry was free for us. The site is also jointly managed by English Heritage too. Of course, the castle is haunted and by more than one ghost. Thomas, Earl of Lancaster, has been seen walking around, carrying his severed head. And another ghost, Sir Guy the Seeker, a knight on his search for the Holy Grail. Best Google it. <laughs> I want in. Yeah. Impressive, eh? I can never resist climbing towers, and there's sure to be some great views from up here. Yeah. Repairs can be seen as concrete replaces the worn stone steps. There she is. medieval castles go, this is in a spectacular location. In its day, it would have been one of the largest castles in Northumberland. Amazing. Amazing ruin now. But right on the Northumbrian coast. Apparently on a clear day behind me, you can see Bamborough Castle, which is one we're going to be doing tomorrow or the day after. Actually, tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow, after we've done Holy Island, yeah. And what a dramatic sight it is. It will almost be a movie set. Any invasion of the castle from the sea would have been futile given the steep cliffs below. So, Dunsonborough Castle, well worth a visit. Back at Craster, it's time for lunch as we head up to the Jolly Fisherman for crab sandwiches 
but Krasta is also famous for its kippers too. Krasta crab, yum. <laughs> 